Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be doing my own creation. I'm going to be drawing an ancient ship on a sea. I really hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe at the end. And here we go. Obviously you may be thinking this is a little bit weird. Why are you drawing a landscape when obviously landscape is normally painted or done with pastel? However, it definitely is possible and it's only a matter of layering and um, taking your time over it. The reason I've not been posting as much is this has taken a little while. Also, uh, doing my own creations for my own, my own imagination, it does take me a little bit longer just because I have to map out exactly what I want to do. I like to take a little bit more time over it. When drawing your ancient ship, you don't have to have lived in the past. <laughs> you just have to create whatever ship you like from your imagination. So you can have as many sails and as many cannons as you wish. In my own creative art, I don't really go for realism. I much prefer a kind of fantasy or surrealist look. To me, it didn't matter whether the ship looked 100% like it could exist. It just won't it just was something that I dreamed up <laughs> and the landscape is the same I really wanted to create an utopia type of feeling so almost like you're in a somewhere so beautiful that you can almost feel this kind of misty greenish blue sea in the moonlight and so <laughs> that was the idea that I was going for I feel like in terms of whenever I create landscape I always think of a place that couldn't possibly exist but in my mind, if it was to exist, it would be an incredible moment. It would be an incredible place to actually be. Whether it could be dark and, and scary and terrifying, or whether it could be idyllic and magical. And in this case, I wanted the, the magic to really kind of be there, rather than it to be terrifying in any way. I wanted it to be more like a landscape where you'd want to go and just experience, and maybe you'd see this incredible like ancient ship floating by. <laughs> And so um, that's just one of the ideas. I mean, I tend to have quite a few, but I didn't want to put too much symbolism or uh, um, necessarily hidden meaning behind this drawing. It's not too important for me to go into too much detail with the ship because as it's at a distance, um, it's just important to get more of an outline. In fact, I could even have just done a silhouette uh, because of the darkness and then just added some reflection. But I wanted to create, I wanted to, pe I wanted to actually draw the ship because I don't often draw ancient ships in landscapes. I think it's quite a special thing to do and it's quite nice to create the actual image. But again, it's not in great detail because it's kind of further away. Uh, and um, in terms of the sea, just making sure that the darker greens and the darker blues on the outside, and then the more you get within the sea, uh, towards the middle, it's all much gradually getting much lighter. And then anything in the distance, or any mountains in the distance, are all much, much lighter, getting lighter and lighter the further you go. <laughs> that I'm drawing I'm making sure that there's some shading in between some darker shading just to give definition and I put a few rocks here and there but it's not very detailed again it's just when you're looking from a distance you can't really see much detail
little bit more tricky in the sense that there was a lot more blending to be done purely because with skies there's so much easier to do with paint you can just slap the paint on it takes one minute but with um to create that sort of really misty cloudy effect at night you sometimes get when the moon is out and then you see these kind of wispy clouds uh, just underneath the moon the way to get that is pure is just to layer up the color so using burnishing a burnishing technique and that just means that you're just layering each layer up very very lightly and just keep going over it and you can do that with solvents again but I'm, because I'm not using anything but coloring pencil <laughs>
posted. I really hope you enjoyed this drawing. Don't forget to like and sub if you haven't already, and I'll see you again very soon.